Hi everyone, my name is Glenda Sparling with SureFit Designs and today I'm going to continue on in this short video series on how to get the shoulder seam line in your pattern to fit you exactly the way it should for your unique body shape and size. I addressed the square shouldered person previously and today I'd like to look at the sloping shoulder person and of course you all know that this doesn't pertain to all of you some of you might have these situations and some of you may not but I just wanted to give you this video help in case this is something that you deal with and in order to give you the best visual possible we're using my friend here Miss Molly Mannequin and we're going to take a look at how this bodice fits on her Right now, the bodice is fitting nice and smooth up at the shoulder line. And of course, your shoulder seam line should be riding right on the top of your body. But if you're a slope-shouldered person, it means that your angle of your shoulder comes down lower than what you're perceiving here on, on the mannequin. And so in order to uh, try and recreate a slope-shouldered person, I need to build up the neck edge so that this slopes off and the only way um, or the best way I could think of to do this was to put a shoulder pad in upside down and reposition the uh, bodice on her. So now you can see as we look at this mannequin that she's higher here and sloping right off in comparison to this side. And so what happens is Typically, with a slope-shouldered person, you get drag lines that form from the arm side going up towards your neck point. And I'm fussing with this right now, but it looks a little bit like that. Now, the easiest way to determine how much you need to slope your shoulder is to take a pinch at your shoulder bone, and when that removes those drag lines, that little pinch tells you how much you need to take off your shoulder point on your pattern. So let's take a look at the pattern. First of all, when you finish drawing off your SureFit Designs pattern front and back, your pattern's going to basically look like this. It's going to have the inside line, which is the first one that you draw. And that actually is going to end up being your stitching line. And the outside line with the slots on it, or the long dashes, that's your cutting line because we added seam allowances with the designing stylus. So this is what your pattern would look like in the finished state. Now, in order to do this refinement or minor tune-up, um, I'm going to be showing it to you on a pattern with only one line on it and that's just to make it nice and clear for you. But please remember, when you're at home, you may be working with this situation, so always keep in mind, if you've got the cutting line and the stitching line, if you modify one of these lines, know where you're starting from and where you're going to, because you'll obviously need to reestablish the, the new stitching line. Okay, so on to the slope shoulder. Remember we pinched up at the shoulder bone and however much you pinch up is what you are going to take off the shoulder point. So it could be a half, it could be five-eighths of an inch, it could be a quarter of an inch. And then what you will do is connect that dot to your neck point and that will automatically slope the shoulder for you. Now, in order to maintain the correct arm's eye depth so that your sleeve fits in properly, we need to lower your underarm. So whatever that distance was, you're going to also mark that distance um, from your underarm uh, dot number two, you're going to come down that amount. And then you'll simply take your designing stylus, position it back in place, and redraw. And what that does is maintains the same arm size shape and depth so your sleeve fits in properly. Please make sure you repeat this process for sloping the shoulders on the bodice back. And so that's how easy it is to do a slope shouldered a uh, slope shoulder minor tune-up. And you know where you're going to find directions for doing this 
if you need to do a minor tune-up is on page 14 of your Sherpa Design Stress Kit instruction book. So please just remember, when you use Sherfit sure designs, you really can be sure of the fit.